We've had a great first year. Uh, we're now looking after more families with children or teenagers with, with life-limiting conditions. I think there's a number of reasons why we're helping more families in, in our first year. Uh, the data is uh, inconclusive, but I think there's three reasons. Number one, uh, which is better known. Shooting Star Chase has been high profile, the merger has been high profile, and we're better known in our community. I think secondly is just we're increased maturity in the two organisations. Chase is about 10 years old, Shooting Star six years old, so there's a natural evolution. I think the third reason, a very important reason, we've got increased access to specialist palliative care. We've hired more specialist help, and that is really helping us communicate and relate to our families. The, the overall ob objective of the merger was quite simply to provide better care for more families and I really think we've, we've started to achieve that in our first year. More specifically, uh, we wanted to be more responsive uh, in the community. Uh, we've put more money into hospice at home. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we've got more specialist palliative care. We want to be more flexible, providing more cover, uh, better access for families, more weekend support. The mixture between planned care and emergency care just allows us to be more flexible. So these are the aims of, of the merger. The other objective was to be more sustainable. We've made uh, significant cost efficiencies having one organisation and we've put these cost efficiencies into better care. No, we've had our challenges and every organisation going through some change and merger uh, has its challenges and we've, we've had a few. Uh, it's, our, it's been a challenge for our staff and our volunteers. They've had to cope with new roles and new locations, uh, but they've come through it very well. Uh, the economic environment hasn't helped. We've had a tough economic environment, we all know that, but we, we've done well on fundraising, but it is a challenge. I think the other area is, is the National Health Service uh, reforms are a challenging environment, and the whole funding environment for children's palliative care is something that is giving us also a challenge. And finally, with, with medical advances that uh, are being made every day now, um, children and teenagers, particularly children and babies with life-limiting conditions, are living longer. So we're having to look after more and more children, and that is a challenge for this organisation. Oh, there are a number of things we're working on, and we're going to be leading the way in children's palliative care in the UK. Uh, let me just run through a number of the exciting things we'll be working on in the next year. Uh, we'll be extending our hospice at home service, which we've started, to give better care for more families in their home. We'll be working hard with the government authorities to try and get more funding, more statutory funding, to help us. We'll be um, working hard with other children's hospices to, be, to collaborate with them and share best practice, and again, offering better care for our families. We'll be working on innovative ideas for, on fundraising to, to in order to make our finances even more stable for the future. And we'll be continuing to work on specialist palliative care for our families. We're working on getting our training quality accredited, which would be great for our organisation. And we'll continue to explore and think about how we brand ourselves. Uh, Shooting Star Chase is one year old. We need to decide how we position ourselves in the future. And finally, we'll be working on some innovative ideas to increase our fundraising so that we can offer better care for more families. Finally, I'd like to thank all of our families, our staff, our supporters, our fundraisers for your fantastic help in 2011. Without you, we wouldn't have had such a great year and we really look forward to your help in 2012. Thank you very much.